up to me Jodeci Tryna show you love, it's that TLC Everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Taylor B Beauty, and this video is going to be an unboxing of my new Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. So unfortunately, I had already filmed this video, and it was really like a true unboxing because I got it right from the store. I came home and I filmed an unboxing, but unfortunately, those files got corroded or whatever, and now here I am filming it again. Now, I have not actually used the wallet because it is a birthday present to myself. So, um, it's still in the box. I have all the information there, the string, everything and whatnot. But unfortunately, it wasn't, I didn't get to pull the string again or whatever. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. Click the bell, to no click the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload whatnot and what have you without further ado we're gonna jump right into the video so this is the bag oh so cute um and i got this from the store the direct louis vuitton store in pittsburgh it is the ross park location um i had the sales associate david who i love dearly he was really nice um, they were about to close and he really helped me out. He had the wallet that I wanted. He showed me, um, a couple key pouches. Girl, we're gonna get into these key pouches soon. I'm gonna tell y'all a little story time about the key pouches. Y'all don't even want to know. But anyway, he was really nice though. He showed me the perfumes that they had, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. He gave me a couple perfume samples. I got to smell a few of the perfumes. But in general, he was really, really nice. I saw him again, um, today actually. And he was really nice then too so i like david i might and he's a pisces okay we love pisces over here this is the bag um i got it in store like i said this is the little receipt so you open it up like this and you have my receipt so i got mm, it smells good it has oh i have my perfume samples still in there and I like how they spray the card and it has the name of the perfume that they sprayed on the card so that you get to know which perfume it was. Because you ever get those uh, perfume samples from Sephora, they spray and you don't remember which one's which. This is bomb. Okay, so these are, mm, this is Rose Devant. <laughs> he told me the pronunciation. Um, this one is my favorite. I think I'm going to get this one because I had got a different one. But this one smells so freaking good. Um... This smells kind of good too. This is the, um, I didn't ask how to pronounce this, so I'm going to butcher it. Um, Mattia Noir. I don't know. Anyway, so this is the perfume, this is the receipt. And like I said, I got it from the Ross Park location. They were about to close. They were really nice. la di da da Um, the monogram, or I ended up getting the monogram rose ballerine victorine wallet and that retailed for 570 so if you guys have been paying attention to to the price increases from louis vuitton girl the price increases are like wild like why are they raising their prices so much in a panoramic like we're in a pandemic y'all why are they raising the prices so much can't even have a little little luxury shopping without them raising the prices but anyway so this is the wallet this is the box of course it was wrapped really really nicely with this blue ribbon but alas I had opened it up already and then you open up the little drawer like this and you have your dust bag so as you can see you have the normal dust bag you flip it open and you pull it out like this so Oh, this is the wallet. This is the Victorine wallet in monogram, rose ballerine interior. So the difference between the different interiors are they have the monogram. I forget what the interior for the brown one is called. They have the rose ballerine and they have fuchsia, I believe. And then, of course, they have Damia Bean. They have, I think, Damia Azor and they have monogram. So I chose monogram. This is the one that I wanted. And you open it up like this. Um, I am the type of shopper that I do a lot of research on items before I buy them. I really obsess over what I want in a wallet, what I need to have in a wallet, um, the reviews on the wallet, and whatnot. So, of course, 
at this point I had already purchased a key pouch and the quality on the key pouch I'm not even gonna hold y'all it was terrible so when I wanted to get the wallet I was like all right let me really pay attention to the quality so I'm going to walk you guys through what I did to inspect the wallet which is what quality control should have done but I'm gonna do I'm gonna show y'all how I walked through inspecting the wallet making sure it was really nice condition and whatnot before I decided to really keep this wallet um if you guys don't know they do have a 30-day return policy um, so if you don't like the item, you must return it in the same packaging, the same condition that they gave it to you, the receipts, all that stuff within 30 days and they will exchange it for you where they will give you your money back. So I did a lot of research before I went out and bought this wallet. Uh, I really wanted it. So I wanted to make sure that it was the right wallet, you know. So you open it up. A lot of people were saying that the Rose Ballerine in uh, interior, the button starts to show the most wear over the shortest amount of time so I was really adamant about not really touching the wallet button just like touching around it closing around it opening around the button rather than putting my finger right on the button that's not a problem for me um I know that with this type of wallet you have to take certain or with this type of color you have to take certain care of it I have the never full uh, rose ballerine interior except it is Damien Bean and the inside is completely pink so I made sure that I took care of it and um, took the proper measures to preserve that pink color so this that's the same thing I'm going to do with this wallet and then of course the inside is rose ballerine and the little tag is rose ballerine as well also so anyway for inspection purposes I really looked at the stitching along the edges of the wallet so I followed all of the stitching they say that all of their items are handcrafted by their artisans is what they call them so I really wanted to pay attention that the wallet was done properly and that is my main concern in shopping with Louis Vuitton nowadays um, so I really looked at it and it was really good quality um, this wallet was made in France so it has the made in France stamp on it um i believe that if it was not made in france or if it was made in the u.s it would have the louis vuitton paris stamp but underneath it it would not say made in france so mine says made in france so it was made in france this wallet has a big um pocket right here for cash and inside it has the like return stickers i guess i don't know it says it's coated fabric and cowhide leather lining the wallet has its product stamp on it it was made honestly I don't know how to read that so I don't know what it means but it has a stamp on the inside <laughs> um and it has six card slots right here three here and three here and then it has a section right here you can put stuff here and a section on this side you can put stuff right there as well then of course it has the coin part you open that up and you can put your coins in there or you can maybe you can put your cash if you don't want to put it here I don't know um, a lot of people were saying that these card slots were very um, tight I haven't put any cards in here yet so people were saying that they've been doubling up with like multiple cards in the slot I'm personally not at all gonna do that not even a little bit because I want this wallet this is this is an investment piece you know and I want to be able to have this wallet 10 years from now and it still be in really good condition, not me stretching out the wallet pockets because it's hard to get one of the cards out. No way. No, ma'am. No, thank you. So I'm going to take really good care of the wallet. Um, I'm only going to put one card slot in it, one card in the slot at a time. That's my personal thing. But you do what you do if you want to do it. So people were saying that the rose ballerine color was getting uh, dirty quicker. Um, so I'm going to personally fold it and make sure that when I fold it and close up the wallet that it is on the inside of the wallet and not hanging out on the outside because it can, of course, be on the outside like that. And as you can see, this is how I've been closing it around the wallet and then you pull it up like that. So that is pretty much it this wallet retailed for 570 and that's crazy because i believe like within the last couple years it's raised its prices like incrementally like wildly incrementally raised the prices 
but um, I'm glad I got it when I did. I like it so far. I haven't really used it, but of course, maybe I'll do like a what's in my wallet um, after I get some good use out of it. Um, I'll be able to tell you like, you know, my own personal review on it rather than just a before review. This is kind of like an unboxing, even though I had already unboxed it. A second first unboxing, <laughs> if you will. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I put it back in my dust pouch because I'm not going to open it until my birthday, which is coming up, if you guys didn't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on my take on the wallet. Let me know if you guys have the wallet down below. Let me know you guys' opinion on the wallet. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you in my next video.